Hi, I'm Dr. Smith. In my practice, we examine and assess a multitude of, of patients with breathing problems, such as asthma and COPD, and we prescribe various treatments. It is estimated 20 million Americans suffer from asthma. Asthma accounts for one quarter of all emergency room visits in the U.S. each year. COPD is a serious disease, and many don't even know they have it. Many people think that shortness of breath is an early symptom of aging, but it is not. They avoid physical activities, even walking. COPD is the third leading cause of death in the USA. An individual dies every four minutes of COPD. I regularly educate my patients and their families on understanding the importance of an early diagnosis and treatments for breathing problems, even if a patient has mild or no symptoms. As you can see, typically lung function reduces much before the symptoms occur, preventing patients from becoming aware of their pathology and modifying the course of the disease with adequate early treatments. There are a number of methods to determine how much a respiratory pathology is affecting a given individual. Chest X-ray is commonly used to diagnose conditions affecting the chest. Unfortunately, as you can see, using this method, the respiratory disease is diagnosed with 10 or 15 years behind its occurrence. The most effective test for early diagnosis and management of asthma and the COPD is the spirometry. Because this test is based on a curve called flow volume, which represents a kind of fingerprint of our lung functionality. Everybody has their own specific curve. According to National Lung Health Education Program, all smokers over 45, former smokers, and everybody who is in contact with dust or chemicals at work should have a spirometry test. In addition, testing should be done at least once every year for everyone with a chronic cough, dyspnea or wheeze, frequent colds, hay fever, acute asthma attacks, and so on. Switch to the best, MIR spirometry. Incomparable clinical performance.